Okay, to everybody who might be wondering, and about myself too, this is sassafras. It's an old Indian medicine, and if you live in the southern parts, you know what sassafras is. They used to make tea out of it uh, back in the day and drink the tea. Uh, this is also what they used to make root beer, also back in the day before the FDA um, banned saffron, which was um, a product from sassafras. They said it caused cancer in lab rats. You can see it's got three lobes on the leaf. And they come in different. Also, you got one lobe and also one that looks like a mitten. The easiest way to tell sassafras is if you uh, pull it up by the root and smell it. It smells like root beer. And the leaves are aromatic, also the stems. Uh, they have a citrus smell to them. And of course they do get a lot bigger than that. There's different sizes. Here's another bigger sassafras. Sometimes they have just three lobes on each leaf and also one lobe, as you can see. And sometimes they also have two. I've read online that they have up to five lobes. Um, but what you do is you pull up the bark um, pull up the root and peel the bark off the root and boil it and make a tea out of it, sweeten it and drink it. Uh, it's used as a blood thinner, uh, common cure-all back in the day for colds and stuff like that also. The Indians used to use it as medicine. It's very tasty stuff, delicious. But more than likely not going to cause cancer. They still have yet to find a human case of liver cancer from sass sassafras, saffron. Uh, the Cajuns also use uh, the leaves to make filet, uh, which is a thickener in gumbo. And also, you can tell if you look at the stem, my camera will take the focus on it. It's kind of green and woody looking. It also kind of changes once it gets more mature and lower to the ground. And during the winter time, I believe, I'm not really for sure, but it creates kind of like little black berries that harvest the seeds uh, once it's time for the seeds to fall. And there it is for sassafras.